industry is uh, basically to being a regulator because uh, we are providing uniform law to the sector since 1893 and we are based in Europe, in Bern, and basically we are providing a contractual regulation for the whole Europe, including EU, actually. Mm. Our law, the OTIF law, is a law for EU, for contractual regulation. And we are also providing rules for technical interoperability based on EU rules, but on a wider scope than EU. For example, uh, Morocco is a member, and to the east, Pakistan and uh, Turkey are also members. And, uh, the reason why we are here is indeed to try to promote this interoperability concept uh, to the region where we think it's uh, needed. From my point of view, the key driver uh, for the rail industry is to uh, build uh, an international backbone. Because uh, what we have today, there is an interest uh, to have transport between, let's say, Asia and Europe. And for that, you really need to have actual trains crossing border on very long distances. And that is not today uh, really possible because there is technical and legal inconsistencies and there is definitely a great prospect to increase the traffic and increase the added value of rail if we overcome those uh, drawbacks. It's important because basically Middle East is the center of all of that. Uh, when you uh, see the Chinese project, for example, the One Bed, One Road, Basically, the connection with Africa and partly with Europe will be also here in the Middle East. And so that's very important that from day one, uh, everybody has this idea uh, to have a unified backbone for, uh, for transport with rail. And uh, well, here uh, we can meet every kind of people and uh, make this uh, idea and this vision uh, more shared among the community.